Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Town Meeting TV. My name is Bobby Lucier, and I'm here in South Burlington, joined by Erica from the Department of Public Works to talk a little bit about a project that is launching today. How's it going, Erica? Uh, doing pretty well. Thank you for coming out here. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about your role with the city? Yeah, so I am the Deputy Director of Capital Projects. I do a lot of transportation planning and engineering work, and then also doing some citywide capital planning for our larger investment projects. And today, can you tell us about the project that's starting with StreetScan uh, for the next few weeks? So we uh, contracted with StreetScan, a company that comes out and does condition inventories and also looks at accessibility compliance on our sidewalks and all of our shared use paths. They're going to be out for about a week or so, riding around on their fun electric scooters, uh, collecting our conditions of all of our sidewalks. They're going to be citywide. And that will be a way that we uh, at Public Works and citywide can really start to use data to inform our maintenance planning and future projects to really just shift towards doing things in the most efficient and effective way through data-driven decisions. Have you guys worked with StreetScan before or is this the first time they're here? This is our first time working with them. I know that they have been all over the country, but this is our first time working with them. And so tell us a little bit more about how are they doing all the sidewalks or just some of them? What's the scope of the project here? So they are doing all of our public sidewalks and paths. We have about 55 miles of sidewalks and 25 miles of our wider shared use paths. And they will be looking at every single one of them. And then also all of the ramps at crosswalks um, to make sure that they are accessible and have all of the right features, aren't too steep, uh, things like that. And so this is going to inform the city's approach to uh, repairing damaged sidewalks. Is that the idea? Like, what's the timeline on how, how when this data actually gets implemented into making some of the repairs into the future here? So, yeah, this is really the first step in making our longer term maintenance planning. This is something we've done for a while for pavement on roads, but now to focus on other pieces of our infrastructure. So this is part of a larger capital improvement project where this year Year is really going to be about collecting the data so that come spring or summer next year we can really hit the ground running uh, and have a fully fleshed out plan for the next five ten years of how we want to prioritize and approach maintenance and improvements. And how did you find street scan? This is kind of a nifty uh, operation here. How do you how do you get in contact with these folks? I mean really is internet searching for places that can do it in a um, much more comprehensive way and that have the capacity that understand what needs to be done. Whenever we've done inventories like this, it's been very manual and we don't have the capacity to really focus on this for a concert, like concerted effort for um, an amount of time. We have to do it in a much more piecemeal approach. So we wanted to find a company that can um, really come up to the city, spend some time, and get it all done at once. And they also uh, give us the data back in a very usable format and have a lot of maintenance planning tools so that we can um, really build that out in a way that makes sense and informs budgeting, informs our maintenance crews. Um, and yeah, so we can make that um, kind of effective and efficient plan looking forward. Thanks so much, Erica. Appreciate it. Thank awesome. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. I, I think the data-driven approach is something that we've just recently started to embrace. And I, I think the power for us is that it takes kind of some personal opinion out of it, where some people may say, my sidewalk, my street is the worst in the city, whereas when we, in fact, have the data um, to say that is or is not true, um, it allows us to then focus on those areas that are actually really bad and then start to do our maintenance and reconstruction starting from that point. Um, so it's, it takes that personal opinion out of it and um, then we can really get to a point where we're getting the worst stuff and raise kind of the, the average of everything up. Um, and obviously the city's got some older sections and then some much newer sections and obviously the older sections are going to not have a lot of the ADA compliant ramps and stuff like that so this will give us a kind of a map and a starting point for that stuff and determine whether or not we can do it in-house and or contract it out and so so that's kind of where we're at with that yeah. 
So how like how much sidewalk repair happens on a year to year basis in South Burlington right now? What does that actually look like? Uh, well, <laughs> given the fact we've been so short staffed, it has not been a lot of it. And usually anything we do is generally related to either a new build out like the RFBs that are over here at the park, um, which are generally just a few sections, maybe, you know, 20 feet of panel. They're five by five panels and um, and or sidewalk that being reconstructed as part of maybe like a catch basin or something that happened in the road. Um, so we have not had like big swaths, like hundreds and hundreds of feet um, repaired. There's a lot of new building in South Burlington, so a lot of that stuff is being put in appropriately, you know, all to proper compliance with ADA. And um, so that's a good thing for us moving forward, but certainly the older sections need to be addressed and this will help with that, so. Any any other things to add about this project or the work that you're doing with DPW right now? No, I think that's it's it, again. It'll be great to have the data. So moving forward and just give us kind of a road a roadmap, so to speak. No pun intended, but um, <laughs> certainly that will help us, and then we can focus in on where we need to start and move there, move from there. So great. All right. Thanks, Adam. Appreciate yeah, thank it. You guys. Awesome. All right. So um, Dave, can you just tell us first of all a little bit more about StreetScan? How long you've been working with StreetScan, and and uh, what you guys do? I've been with the company for three years. We do sidewalk and roadbed assessments. Now for today, we're gonna to be doing uh, pedestrian uh, crossing ramps, but we also do sidewalk quality assessment or sidewalk dangers. And then we have a separate vehicle with cameras mounted on it that does the same thing for the roadway. Okay. And uh, so how long is this gonna take you this process in South Burlington? Mm. We're kind of at the mercy of the weather in a lot of cases. We, we can't do this work in the rain because we're riding the electric scooters. We can't do it in the snow. The falling leaves will make it a challenge to do some areas, but uh, we're anticipating like two or three weeks, maybe, maybe longer, depending on, on the weather. And so why a scooter? How, does, how do the scooters work and how do they make your, your life easier? Well, I will tell you, Three years ago, we were doing this with big three-wheeled strollers, full-size cameras on it, full-size tablet, full-size uh, laptop. But now everything fits on an app, so uh, we can mount everything we need on the handlebar of that scooter. So, so the scooter itself is just an electric scooter, and then, and just, then you've got uh, you're taking footage with your phone. Yep, yep. You can do this job on foot if you have to, and sometimes sometimes we do have to. And so tell us a little bit about this ramp here and wh what your job is here for measuring this, this ramp. Well, uh, the city has provided us with a map. We're going to travel every sidewalk on that map looking for stuff like this. Typically at uh, like street, street corner crossings, we will have uh, like a ramp. And then in the middle of the block like this, we have pedestrian crossing ramps or if there's a school zone nearby, something like that. So this is a, a fresh, brand new one it looks like. So this, one, this one's beautiful. <laughs> so uh, we'll just ta take a few measurements. We, uh, we typically roll up on our scooters. We make sure that we're safe, safe for the traffic. We get the camera going and we'll take a photograph from the street side up the ramp. That way the, the engineers can assess like is it a good easy on or off and then you get a picture of the, the whole big ramp in there. But then once we get a good picture then we start taking measurements. Okay. So the first thing we come up to a ramp we're very concerned with this DWS, or a truncated dome or ball mat. It has many names. This is designed so that uh, a poorly sighted person, a person that might have to use a cane, a visual impairment, can like scrape their uh, cane across it and it has a certain rhythm to it, tackety tack tack. But in addition, the different colors kind of stands out for them. So the first thing we do, we come up, we take our picture, then we start uh, doing measurements. Now these ramps cannot be too steep, they cannot be too narrow. So the city has requested, or the ADA has requested that we take a, what's called the running slope, then the cross slope, and then they're concerned with the, the street slope, the street entry slope. So we'll, we'll take that measurement out there. Sometimes they have what they call a flare that comes up on the sides. This one does not have, it's just grass here. So once we get the, the measurements down, the slope measurements, then we have to assess, is it wide enough? So 36 inches is the bare minimum for this type of thing. So, uh, yep, that's more than 36 inches. We just answer yes. Is the landing more than 36 inches? Yes, yes to that. 
Then we uh, assess the quality of the DWS. That one's brand new, so that's uh, good condition. Then uh, we double check it. We send that on to the map, and the uh, city engineers get a, get a copy of that so they can uh, do their maintenance planning. But then separate from the DWS, the, the ramps, we also do sidewalk. Like if you look down the block there, like three or four panels away, there's a, a about an inch or two uplift there. That is a trip hazard. And I see snow plows have hit that a few times. So it's gradually been chiseled down. But uh, that's another thing we're looking for. Like after we're done with the ramp part, we'll go down the sidewalks and we'll specifically take a photograph of that, assess how severe it is. And then also the city engineer gets that information. Then at the end of the project, our company, uh, we're the street scan, we're the uh, field collection division. But then uh, Street Logics, those are the computer guys. They uh, crunch all these numbers, and they provide the city with a what they call a story map, which has every sidewalk graded according to how good it is. And uh, in addition, we have a, a software product that allows us to estimate how much material would be used to repair a sidewalk like this. So we can provide the city with information like a, if this were a, like a like a green sidewalk, it'd be fine. Uh, yellow. We assess the quality level of it. So if the city had like three million to spend, uh, you'd best spend that money here, here, or here. Mm -hmm. And that's an attractive thing for, for our company. Yeah. So where, where else have you uh, done this work assessing sidewalks and ramps? Well, uh, two months ago, we were in Loveland, Colorado. We had contracts out in Utah, Seattle, Washington, Redmond, Washington, Lake Stevens, Washington, basically everywhere. In fact, uh, my brother's up in Canada right now, outside of Montreal, doing the same thing up there. Really? Oh, yep. Wow. And these scooters, so if there's a bump, in, a big bump in the sidewalk, are you guys, you know, safe? How 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 much can these scooters withstand in terms of uh, the bumps in the... They can ride on some pretty rugged stuff. Uh, you know, we have, like, fairly good scooters. They've got nice, nice springs to them, so it smooths things out a little bit. And they're electric? They are electric. Do you have fun riding the scooter? Eh, it's it's fun for about half an hour in the morning, <laughs> but, but after eight hours, it kind of grinds. Yeah. yeah. How fast can you get on that guy? Well, uh, certain models will go 30 or 40, but basically we're doing it two or three times the walking speed. We we don't want to miss anything. You know, some of the cracks are quite small. Some of the uplifts are pretty pretty shallow, so we we always have to keep our eyes peeled for that stuff. And if uh, anyone in, so you're, you'll be in residential neighborhoods as well as, as on uh, main roads like this, is that correct? Correct. Yeah, so if uh, are you welcome folks coming up to kind of ask you about the process and, and you know, how, is, is, is that something that you're, you're able to kind of chat with folks about or, yeah? Yep, uh, we do a little bit of community outreach, like uh, sometimes the city, uh, they do that stuff, but uh, people are always welcome to walk up to us and ask us. I mean, sometimes we might appear suspicious because we'll, we'll have to spend like a few minutes on this particular sidewalk if we're in front of somebody's house for that long. Yeah. They start looking out the window. Yeah. Awesome. Great. Anything else to add here, Dave, about what you, what you guys are up to here? Nope, nope. That's it. We, we have three basic projects. We're doing the ramps first. Then we, uh, we'll do the FE segment, and then we'll finish up with the video or vice versa, either way. And then uh, that way, as we're working on one section, on one project, our people up in uh, Montreal in the QA department can be assessing that to make sure we, we are doing a good job there. Well, thanks, Dave. Appreciate you, you guys coming up to Vermont and uh, helping out the city of South Burlington. All right, you're welcome. I was just gonna explain a little bit about our, our work vehicle there. When uh, this project first came online, it was, a, uh, it was a PhD project for a couple of students down at Northwestern University. It got monetized through their business development center. Well, through their business development center. So uh, it became a, a real job, a real company called StreetScan. Now, uh, originally uh, it was just like roadbed surfaces and they had a van like this and you can see like the lights on top, but you see a little bracket on the back there. There's uh, plenty of uh, fixtures and pass throughs up there. We used to mount cameras on the, the roof of this thing and just drive around doing the streets. But this is quite a large van. You get to a cul-de-sac or a narrow road it's difficult to back out. So now we do this job on a, a Honda Fit or a little Subaru. They've got a turning radius like about this big. So uh, that's that's great. Now we just use this for like transporting all the scooters and all, all of our other equipment. Great, thank you.